it's cheaper. Around $60 for MK from Swiss Chems with code PLUS versus thousands of dollars for Pharmaceutical GH. That's it. End of video. So this is actually exactly how I used to think. And that perspective isn't uncommon. The perspective that obviously pure, legitimate growth hormone injections are superior. MK677 is simply the more convenient option. It boosts your growth hormone for a fraction of the cost. It's easier to source and you can take it orally so you don't have to pin yourself. But what if I told you Zeus himself materialized before me and presented me with two free and immediate options? Pure orally bioavailable growth hormone in capsule form or the equivalent dose of MK677. What if I told you that I would take the MK677? Sounds crazy? I would have thought so too. But over years of research, experimentation, and contemplation, I have a solid case for MK677 being superior in more ways than simply convenience. So first, the effects of MK677 are capped, so to speak. So it has a lower propensity to be abused. So in this study, 10 milligrams of MK677 boosted average growth hormone by 79%, and increasing the dose by 500% only achieved 3% more growth hormone. So 50 milligrams of MK677 boosted average GH by 82%. So MK677 exemplifies the law of diminishing returns. It teaches you that more is not necessarily better, which is a great mindset to incorporate into your psyche. But let's just say I'm a hyper-responsible growth hormone user. So I'm only going to inject enough growth hormone to boost my average serum growth hormone by 80%, the same as MK677. Why might I still be better off taking MK677? Well, first with MK677, growth hormone release still follows its natural pulsatile pattern. So that's how growth hormone is naturally released throughout the day in pulses. So MK677 mimics ghrelin, the hunger hormone. So growth hormone is released in a relatively natural manner as if you've been fasted for a while. Growth hormone injections result in continuous steady levels of GH, which do not mimic the natural fluctuations. So theoretically, because the pulsatile release pattern aligns with the body's normal regulatory systems, it can help minimize disruption to natural hormonal feedback mechanisms, potentially reducing side effects like insulin resistance. But what about that ghrelin mimetic effect? Isn't that what makes pure growth hormone superior? Growth hormone injections don't stimulate the ghrelin receptor. In fact, they can actually even acutely suppress ghrelin. Well, if you're someone who's trying to lean down effortlessly without any suffering whatsoever, and that's your main objective, then yeah, I concede. Growth hormone injections would be superior in that specific context. But in other contexts, I see this ghrelin mimetic effect as positive. Why? Neuroplasticity. So there's an abundance of research indicating that ghrelin is neuroregenerative. It helps build new brain cells. It accelerates synapse formation. It enhances memory consolidation. Overall, ghrelin seems to be quite beneficial for the brain, which is one of the reasons why fasting is so beneficial. Now, Derek, for More Plates, More Dates, overlooked this effect of ghrelin, and he misinterpreted some of the MK677 literature where tortured rats were fed MK677 and they had greater fear memory. His interpretation was that MK677 potentially induces PTSD-like symptoms. My interpretation is that MK677 enhances neuroplasticity and memory consolidation. So any experience on MK677 will be more ingrained into the psyche. So I, I did an entire video on this, you can check it out. But this does beg the question, is neuroplasticity even inherently good? Do you want your brain to be more malleable and reprogrammable? Well, personally, this is fundamental to my life philosophy. So I attempt to enhance neuroplasticity as much as possible and then take advantage of that neuroplastic state to learn new skills faster and become the best version of myself. But theoretically, I suppose, if you were about to enter into a traumatic experience like the rats were when they were being tortured, you would want to be minimally neuroplastic so those memories are minimally consolidated and you hold on to less trauma, in which case you would have rather injected growth hormone than popped some MK677. But this approach isn't practical because you can't predict when bad shit happens. And also my philosophy is something like this. It's like you have one bad event and one good event in a neuroplastic state. That's better than two neutral events in a less neuroplastic state, if that makes sense. Anyway. Most people would prefer to enhance neuroplasticity, and MK677 is superior to growth hormone in that regard. The final reason why I consider MK677 superior is its ability to manipulate IGF-1. So remember the study I showed where 10 milligrams and 50 milligrams of MK677 increased GH by about the same? Well, that wasn't the case with IGF-1. 
So 10 milligrams increased IGF-1 by 52% and 50 milligrams increased IGF-1 by 79%. That's a significant difference. So at 50 milligrams, and I want to be clear, I've never taken 50 milligrams, nor would recommend anyone take 50 milligrams, but at 50 milligrams, the growth hormone and IGF-1 increase was about the same, 80%. The 50 milligram dose increased GH and IGF-1 at a one to one ratio, which is something growth hormone injections just don't do. IGF-1, very beneficial for muscle growth and has a far lower propensity to increase insulin resistance than growth hormone. Surplus IGF-1 is generally considered less dangerous than surplus growth hormone because its mechanisms of action are narrower. To put it simply, growth hormone makes everything grow. IGF-1, it makes less shit grow, but one of those things that does grow is muscle. So look, obviously, if you're a competitive IFBB bodybuilder, the growth hormone enhancement from MK677 is not going to be sufficient for your goals, although it could still be beneficial as an ancillary. But for health conscious fitness enthusiasts or biohackers who are attempting to optimize their holistic well being, I'm gonna have to pick MK677. Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.